in 1990, I testified as an expert witness uh, for, the for, for the nation's first skin color discrimination case in Morrow versus the Internal Revenue Service. And it was a case involving a lighter skinned African American who worked for the Internal Revenue Service. And she claims that her darker skinned African American supervisor was discriminating against her on the basis of her color. And uh, after that case, I had always known that even though the case in Atlanta involved African Americans, I had always known it involved all people of color. This past, in 2010, I was invited to be a keynote speaker at a medical convention in South America. I talked about what I've been writing about also called the bleaching syndrome, uh, an affliction that is indicative of people of color. And I, you know, bleaching pertains to skin color, but it's much more complex than that. So you have people who are regarded as, as having some stigma associated with themselves. So they will try to alter themselves or modify themselves to fit what might be considered a more mainstream Caucasian ideal. This has always been uh, a country that was based on informal hierarchy, so no one will actually say that uh, a person is higher or lower status based on their race or skin color, but in fact that's, that's how we operate. Um, I've always contended that uh, this is the wave of the future because while we do have, still have a lot of problems with uh, the issue of race and racism, I, obviously we now had, have an African American president, so I think there is some progress that's been made. I do teach primarily uh, graduate classes in human behavior. Uh, during the spring I do teach an ISS class uh, on diversity in the U.S., but my area of specialty has to do with uh, human behavior in a social work context. I'm going to continue with this. Uh, one of the things that I've been most active in doing is worldwide research. Best part of my job as a professor or as a researcher, uh, I, like, I, like, I like going into the classroom and pretty much all that I do here is teach and write research. I just enjoy uh, learning more about my subject matter.